Hey gamers, thank you for tuning in to Fire Chicken Review, where we love to talk about custom gaming products for a variety of games out there. Today we're going to be focusing on Legend of the Five Rings, the living card game made by Fantasy Flight Games. I uh, reached out to a uh, local artist, I was just browsing a few things online, and I saw these beautiful pieces of art, and I said, hey, I gotta get a review in uh, for some of uh, the stuff. Uh, so I reached out to, to Alana that you see her uh, card in front of you here. And uh, again, she makes some uh, beautiful pieces of art and uh, she started to get into uh, L5R when uh, the game uh, released and wanted to make some uh, custom uh, products uh, for the game. A little bit of Alana's uh, background just so that you can get uh, the feel for, for uh, what her art is all about. Uh, she's a, a Belgian a freelance illustrator who has been working on uh, various RPG books, online cards, and indie games for almost uh, 10 years now. Uh, most of her product uh, she was selling at uh, cons and conventions and whatnot. And uh, recently decided to, to open an Etsy store where I saw her uh, product, uh, to be honest. And uh, when L5R came out, she tried it and thought, wow, this is a fantastic uh, game. And immediately want to start making uh, custom art and other cool uh, collectible products to share with uh, the the very proud and uh, intimate uh, community. Uh, she recognized that players uh, from L5R had a strong sense of uh, belonging, uh, which uh, you can obviously tell from my own uh, channel being called uh, the Fire Chicken, related to uh, the Phoenix, of course. And uh, when she recognized uh, this strong sense of belonging. She wanted to make uh, some stickers of which I'm going to show here for uh, the various uh, clans based off of uh, the mod, but taking her own artistic approach on it. And that way uh, members of the, the clans and uh, players could have uh, representations on their deck boxes, on uh, their badges when they go to conventions, uh, etc. to really represent uh, their favorite uh, clans. I'll get more into uh, the stickers uh, shortly here, but I want to get into the actual illustrations that you uh, see in uh, front of you. So I'm going to just move some things uh, off to the side and start off uh, with uh, this beautiful uh, crane uh, piece that you see. Uh, the, the crane illustration, uh, like I said, it's just absolutely uh, wonderful here. Uh, this is a great piece of art that uh, she's uh, made. Uh, this one here, uh, both uh, uh, the illustrations, uh, the, these prints were gifted to me as, long, as well as the stickers that I'll be showing shortly and signed uh, on the, the back uh, here. The history of uh, this one in particular is uh, the crane illustration was originally made for a close friend of uh, the artist and uh, was uh, made as actually a one-of-kind uh, play mat. But uh, she uh, re recognized that uh, the art was really loved uh, by the community. And so she started to put up uh, prints of uh, this illustration on her store so that people could buy it. Uh, but you can't buy uh, the playmat because, again, this was made uh, specifically for a friend. As far as I uh, am concerned with this, this is absolutely uh, gorgeous. And what's great is that uh, the print is small enough that you can just have it up in uh, your gaming room or wherever in your, probably your den, your office or whatnot. Just a nice uh, small piece of art. I really enjoy um, the artistic uh, approach uh, to it. It feels um, very close to, it's a very nice anim, anime uh, type of uh, uh, approach. Uh, getting a little bit uh, off of what you normally would see for L5R uh, from uh, the base uh, game and taking uh, a nice uh, lighter approach and uh, just beautiful and very vibrant, colorful art. I love how it shines. I love uh, the, the cherry blossoms here. And uh, I would love to see this as an alt art uh, card as well, maybe of uh, the crane uh, champion uh, would uh, be uh, cool, or just uh, it, within uh, the game. That being said, uh, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. When you look at it, you're like, wow, I would love to see a full uh, anime of this, and I guarantee people would uh, die to watch it, but that's that's going way too far into it. Um, yeah, let me know in the, the comments what you think of uh, this uh, piece of art. Uh, of course, uh, when you're talking about art, it's all about uh, the sense of your own uh, judgment and uh, the style, if you're going to like it. But uh, the details 
uh, work that it's been uh, put into uh, this product is here. Uh, if you get uh, these uh, prints off of her Etsy store, uh, you'll notice that it's a very uh, vibrant uh, colors. It really pops uh, out. Uh, the big thing that she is looking for because she is an international uh, seller is just trying to figure out how she can get to uh, places like North America and whatnot without uh, damaging uh, the product, which I don't think will be too much of an issue once uh, she's able to sort that out. But yeah, this art is uh, absolutely beautiful. And uh, really, uh, if I was a, a Crane uh, fan, which I am, to be honest, uh, I would love to have uh, this up just in my uh, gaming room, like I mentioned uh, before. So this is uh, the, the Crane uh, piece of art that I was talking about. Again, she has uh, prints up on her store. I would highly recommend as a Crane player to, to get this and just putting it in a nice, uh, on uh, your shelf or something in a nice uh, little uh, frame. Uh, the next one I want to get into is the dragon again this is probably my uh, second uh, favorite uh, clan uh, my top uh, three clans if you're unaware is uh, phoenix dragon uh, followed by uh, lion uh, i was a dragon uh, player to start off actually uh, for those who are unaware uh, but i quickly became a phoenix uh, fan shortly into the first month or two of uh, the game so this uh, piece of art uh, is awesome. It's called uh, the Pride of uh, the the Dragon, and it came out uh, shortly after she made uh, the crane art that you saw there. Because players obviously saw the art and thought it was beautiful, and she wanted to be able to give uh, players uh, an option uh, if they're a dragon fan to get a nice uh, print. Or she also has a uh, play mat, and this is her actual first uh, play mat uh, that she started. To, uh, uh, mass uh, producing. Uh, I may be doing a review of uh, the playmat in uh, a later video, uh, but this art is awesome. Again, it has that very uh, great uh, anime uh, look uh, to it. Um, there's a few animes that come off of the top of the head uh, that uh, it reminds me of. Uh, something uh, probably in between like uh, The Last Airbender, um, a little bit more adultish than that, but that same uh, color aspect is what it reminds me of and as an anime fan I love this art again just a small hint I would love to see uh, <laughs> an actual anime of uh, this it likely would never happen but as far as a, a fan if you're going to co conventions and why not uh, these are great uh, to pick up to get uh, a nice uh, print uh, signed by the artist and it's just uh, fantastic uh, just I'd be uh, shocked like uh, if I was going to a convention and all of a sudden I saw this because uh, you're used to seeing like the typical things like uh, Overwatch or Dragon Ball Z or any of those animes. So you'll see this and you're an L5R fan. Oh man, this is perfect. This is great to, to pick up. Especially if you're getting into uh, the RPGs or anything like that. Really set the, the atmosphere uh, for your local uh, group. And I would love to see uh, some more art uh, within this. So getting into uh, this one, because after my uh, little bit of a tangent there. Like I was saying, this is a beautiful art. I love uh, the dragon representation here, uh, the temple in the, the background. The art really uh, pops out. Again, same uh, small print uh, size, so you can have it in uh, your office. And it just feels fantastic. It feels very much uh, dragonish, and uh, it feels uh, great. I love everything uh, about it. I think uh, the only thing, if I look closely, I, I don't think I really see on this uh, person here. I don't think there's actually, I'm just trying to look at the moment. I don't think you see uh, the Dragon Mon uh, anywhere on him. Uh, I'm just looking. Uh, there was one on uh, the Crane one, but that's still fine. You don't need to have it. Obviously this uh, uh, yells out uh, Dragon all over it and it just looks fantastic. It looks like he's ready for battle here and he's ready uh, to, to go. Uh, so again, if you're a Dragon uh, fan, check this one out. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, potentially uh, doing a review of uh, this uh, playmat. Again, uh, my second uh, favorite clan, and uh, doing it very awesome if you're into uh, the meta right now uh, for how they are in uh, the game. So the last thing that I wanted to review was the sticker set that I said uh, Alana was wanting to cover. And this is the beautiful uh, sticker set uh, that uh, she made. Um, and it's just absolutely awesome. It has all 
uh, of the seven uh, clans on here as well as some uh, cherry blossom uh, flowers that you can uh, put on any material really and I'm going to be uh, demonstrating some of the things that you may want to put it on. Uh, when I was uh, talking uh, to, to her um, she uh, mentioned uh, like how the stickers were made and what she did with it. Uh, basically, the stickers were sent to a UK uh, printer to be made on transparent uh, vinyl. So this is just a white background. The stickers themselves, as you'll see here shortly, are actually transparent, so it can go on any type of uh, material. And like I was saying, these are perfect to put onto uh, deck boxes, uh, your badges. Like if you're going to Worlds or Gen Con, uh, these would be awesome to put on uh, to your, your badges here. I'm going to get into shortly... Uh, all of what I think of uh, each one. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, get into it uh, right now. Uh, the crab one here looks absolutely fantastic. I, again, I love uh, the anime uh, style of uh, representing these uh, her own interpretation of uh, the clan uh, mods. It's very uh, different, very bright, very colorful. Looks uh, fantastic. I love uh, the crab one here. The crane, of course, is absolutely uh, beautiful. Looks uh, great. I don't have any complaints about it. I think it looks uh, awesome. It just looks uh, fantastic. My favorite, the fire chicken. This one is uh, awesome. Uh, it just looks uh, great. It reminds me a lot, uh, this one here, of a Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> some of your Pokemon fans may be able to tell me which one it uh, looks like exactly. But uh, I do like uh, this Phoenix uh, quite a bit. I'm very happy uh, to have it. And this one I'll be showing on my main uh, deck box, most likely. Uh, the Scorpion uh, sticker here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Scorpion, I will tell you honestly, because of the, all the tricks that they do in the, the games. But this sticker representing uh, the Scorpion uh, clan looks fantastic. It looks awesome. Um, the, my only... Uh, slight uh, complaint about it. I don't even think it's a real complaint. It's a little bit darker than the rest, but hey, Scorpion is just a, a darker uh, clan. I find uh, the tail back here is a little bit uh, darker. I would like to see it uh, brighten up a bit just so you can see a little bit more of uh, the details in it. Uh, but again, Scorpion is a very dark clan, so it makes sense. The unicorn. This is one mystic uh, unicorn. It's a beautiful piece of art. I feel like this unicorn is just going to burst out of uh, the trees and I'm like staring at it for hours. This uh, mystical uh, beast and unicorn being very popular right now. I think a lot of people will enjoy putting this sticker again representing uh, their clan on their deck boxes or uh, badges. Uh, the dragon. It looks uh, fantastic. Uh, it reminds me of... Uh, it looks... Uh, Similar to me, uh, not actually, but uh, it reminds me of like Shenron, uh, which has a completely different uh, color aspect uh, from Dragon Ball Z. But uh, just the style of it looks uh, very fantastic. I'm just saying it represents a, a beautiful anime uh, style. It looks uh, fantastic. Um, the and then the last one to show you here is uh, the lion one. This one looks uh, it's very interesting. It reminds me of like uh, the Chinese uh, New Year. Uh, dragon, uh, that uh, type of uh, face uh, to it. It almost looks like it, it's a mask at the, the same time. Very uh, bright, very colorful, and an interesting uh, design. And I love uh, the artistic approach that she uh, applied to all these. Uh, so basically, you can take all of these uh, stickers and put them onto your deck boxes, like I was saying, or your badges if you go to like uh, Gen Con Worlds or any like conventions, uh, really. So I just wanted to demonstrate uh, some of uh, the stuff. Uh, so I got my deck box here. I'm going to use my one from Worlds 2015 that's signed by one of uh, the designers of the game, uh, Brad, uh, here. And so I'm going to put um, my Phoenix uh, one on here. So I'll just take it off, show you here. Just give me a second, zooming in. It should see how easy this peels off. I apologize because I'm trying to do this live on the camera okay so it doesn't peel off uh, it's not too hard to, to peel off it actually peels off quite nicely so this is uh, the sticker peeled off here and I'm just going to place this right on top of uh, my deck box like so and like I was saying so it's uh, nice and uh, transparent so it can go on uh, easily so if you have a little bit of a darker background background 
uh, it'll go on and look uh, quite awesome. Actually, I like this uh, quite a bit. Uh, so now when I'm playing um, my Phoenix, this will probably be my Phoenix uh, deck box if I'm not using one of my other ones here. It looks uh, awesome. I love how it uh, goes on. And yeah, so that's just uh, perfect. So that's uh, the Phoenix uh, going on uh, there. I wanted to show, uh, so this is, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a softer uh, deck box. If you got a more standard, like your Ultra Pros uh, here, let's take off uh, my top. And uh, for this one, I want to use uh, my Dragon one here. So let's do it off camera real quick. So again, all these uh, different stickers, you can see just how nicely it comes off and all the color that's on here. So I'll just place green on green. You know what? It's a, uh, I'm a dragon player, so why not? So on my Ultra Pro uh, box here, it goes on uh, quite nicely, no issues whatsoever. And uh, I think that looks awesome. Let me know what you think.